Hey, what's up guys? Star here from Billion Dollar iTech. Have you ever wondered how some CVs are so creative and looks attractive? Don't worry, this video will give you an instruction how to create a creative resume using simple Microsoft Office 2016. If you are interested, stay tuned and let's get started. The first thing, in order to begin the video, we need to customize the margins. We will customize it to zero by ignoring the notification. After adjusting the margin, we will proceed with adding the background to start drawing on it. Formatting the shape will allow you to get the required colors fit inside the box and on the lines. First step, we will select the shape to decorate the resume. We have selected the shape and we will adjust the shape based on width, length, according to your interest. After that, you may fill the color of your choice. For me, I have selected the theme of mixture of brownish with yellowish colors. Photo shape is very essential in a resume, whereby I have selected a round shape to insert my photo. While formatting, you will feel not only the colors, but also picture and texture style. I will import my picture from my desktop. You cannot move the picture to the position you may wish. However, you may adjust from the offset option on the right side. The next step is to add text. For that, we need to take a square shape and press right click, add text and write your name. Select your favorite theme color and format the shape. Remove the border lines as well as the background color. Adjust it to the location you wish. We continue adding another text for the title. As I have mentioned here, international researcher. We will do the same steps, removing the borders and the background color. We will keep it as a transparent. The most important part of the resume is to design it, to get the attraction from the employer. So for this, the most important part is to add the boxes with the information. I would like to add one box in the beginning and format it according to my interest and multiply it many times for different reasons. I have adjusted the borders to the brownish color. After creating the box, it's time to fill in the information about yourself, your education, work experience, personal details, and so on.
complete version of my resume. Afterwards, we need to save it in PDF format. Selecting PDF format will allow you to have a better view. And in my resume, I have mentioned few information about myself. You may also mention more details according to your wish. I hope this video was informative and useful. If you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Please don't forget to share with your friends. For the older version of this video, please click here. Until then, peace.